So you may be wondering, where the hell did my facial hair go? Well, that's a good question. I was cleaning my razor, my buzzer, and I cleaned it really good. And I didn't expect that when I put it up to my face, it would buzz itself through my beard and it basically took off an entire chunk off the side. And I was just like, well, now I need to cut it. So now we are baby face Monto. But today, what we're doing is we're doing a tracking build on Legion, since I haven't done one yet. Not tracking scratch marks or anything, we're tracking blood and just making sure that I have a good eye on the map at all times. So what we got is we basically got add-ons to make my frenzy longer and increase my movement speed along with some blood tracking and generator tracking and then the monitor and abuse in order to allow me to have a bigger terror radius while I'm in my frenzy mode. So what we got here is we got Bloodhound considerably more discernible blood marks than normal and can be tracked three seconds longer. Then we got discordance, so if two or more people are working on a generator at a time, I get the generator highlighted in yellow for 12 seconds. Then we got monitor and abuse, so when I'm out of a chase, it decreases my terror radius by eight, and when I'm in a chase, it increases it by eight. It just helps the Feral Frenzy be able to find people when I smack people in Feral Frenzy. And then we got Sloppy Butcher, considerably increases the bleeding frequency and causes the mangle effect. So we don't want them to heal up, but we also want to track their blood marks a lot more with Bloodhound. And then for add-ons, we got Stolen Sketchbook, considerably increases Fail Frenzy duration with Susie's mixtape, considerably increases Fail Frenzy movement speed. So this allows me to be able to try and hit as many people into injured state and mending state as possible. And then for add-ons, a survivor pudding, just for those blood points. And we got the uh, double blood points either tomorrow or today, depending on when I put this video out. But we're gonna go and be Babyface Monto Bounty Hunter. We actually got a really good map for this. Small map, no grass, so I can chase the uh, the blood marks around a lot better. We just have to, we just have to hit people. Stop looking at my face. Stop it! I'm not gonna use it just yet. Oh, come on! Come on, I wasn't even close to it! Alright. I'ma get you, don't you worry. I have to go over here. Might as well smack him. Where did he go? He went this way. Good job. Good job. Very nice. We need to go over to that one now. That's a pretty far one. For having two people on it, I might not make it. Let's go double smack this guy. Actually...
<sighs> okay. Wasn't losing the chase, so there was no point to even try to do that. Alright, we got another guy here. We'll go double smack him. Just in case he had dead heart, I wasn't going to hit him. We're doing decent so far. It's not too bad. I'm not going to break pallets. There's no point. I'm wasting my time. And we got a guy here. Oh no, he went this way. Shit. Just follow the blood. Just follow the blood. Go ahead and put this guy on the hook. I'll be able to follow him since he's bleeding. Nice. Throw this guy in the basement. I think he might be dead, which is probably better if I throw him in the basement so I don't waste the hook. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. Okay. Now I can go smack everyone. And then we got this guy. We'll go ahead and smack him down. Just in case he had dead hard. Can I make it to the basement from here? Probably. Yeah, I can. I can. Uh, fuck it. Throwing him right here. He doesn't have dead hard. Go throw this guy on the hook. Follow this guy now. Man, Bloodhound is just amazing sometimes. Were you not looking at where I was? Alright, that's two people dead. I feel like I should have used, like, barbecue instead of monitor and abuse, but still. They're on... Well, one of them's on this gen over here. around here anywhere that was a very bad idea to stay to stay at that pallet when I went out of frenzy okay going this way
keep him on this side. I don't know where the other guy ran to. But I think he's on that, that gen right there. No. I'm just gonna follow his blood. <laughs> That's such a cheap way to do things with uh with Legion, but it works. It works. And since I have better blood tracking, it just works even better. I hear him. I didn't think that was gonna work, but you know, potatoes. Next time for this build, I'm gonna switch out monitor and abuse for uh, for uh, barbecue and chili, just so I can have that extra little bit of tracking to see where people are, or maybe even discordance for bl uh, barbecue and chili. But I just wanted to be able to stop people from rushing gens if I needed to. And we got a shit ton of points. That's what you want. So I actually totally forgot, and I just got Bloodhound 3 out of the the blood web. Even though it's only one second longer, it's still the next level for it. So just letting you know. This might be a little bit of a harder map to do. But we might still be able to do it, depending on how these generators are set up. I don't even want to keep these generators. These generators are useless to me. There's no other generator around it. There's absolutely no other generator around that gen. There's no point in keeping it. Well, that was a waste. I still hit him. Nice. I got rid of the the killer shack pallet. And we got this guy bleeding, so that's all that really matters for this build. Okay. They didn't even notice that I was coming after them. Can I hit this guy before? Yes, I can. Nice try. All these guys are over here. I would have kept running that way. But even then, you still weren't going to make it before I, I could cut you off, so... So what I need to do from this is I need to come at this sneakily if they're still here. Shit, I could have kept going on that. Alright. Ah! 
There's no pallet here, so that's okay. I could have hit him. I just didn't swing for it. Mm. Kind of didn't want that gen to be done. Ooh, he didn't stop. But he's also not that smart. I thought he was going to realize what I was trying to do to him, but he didn't realize at all. Anyone run past here? No? Not too bad. We can get this guy. Oh, what the fuck? I was body blocked by that shit. What the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? Yeah, you keep you keep going around. That's never gonna work on someone who's not stupid. Going behind me. Is he really gonna keep looping this? Why did you go past the pallet? Why did you go past the pallet? I have three gens literally right beside each other on this side of the map. But I also want to put some pressure and hit them. So if I can't hit them before they. There's one guy, there's two guys. I could run backwards at this guy. Oh, you have dead hard? Why didn't you use it before? Maybe that's why. Actually, no, I caught you off guard the last time. That's why you didn't use it before. Just standing there. He's probably gonna kill himself. Yeah, he didn't wiggle at all. I wonder if these guys are healing or not. Probably not. Which way would they have ran? Inside the building? He's got balance landing. Would this other guy be? Is he gonna be healing himself somewhere? He would have had to have went the other way. He went into the building. Just in case he was in a locker. All right. Didn't run this way. He 
He's got iron will. No time to dead hard. This guy should still be over here. But if the hatch pops up before, like, and, like right in front of him or some shit, then that'll be a sad day for me. Oh, there he is. Very long blood trail. There wasn't a lot that you could do. And then the only gen I can kick is this one. Unless there are other gen across the map. The one over there has been touched, but I really doubt that. Not a lot they could have done because they got all the, like, they, they pushed all the gens to one side of the map. So it just gave me a lot more control. I didn't have to go so far in order to protect more than one thing. Which is the thing that survivors do that they shouldn't do. And there were survivor friends, you can tell by the ranks, the different ranks. Three decisive strikes, Jesus Christ. I'm just all about this money, I don't think about no thighs. No girl, you don't know about me, so get off my fucking D. Born and raised in the thigh, this is real as you gon' see. Girl, you don't know about me. So get off my fucking D.